Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Gang, we are back with another day in Vlogtober. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you know every time your girl drops anything. Fit body by Coco. All right, we're here with Millionaire Hoy today. We got a deep stretch slash yoga. So go ahead and take your grandma, your auntie, your auntie, your cousin, your primo, your primo, your A ones, your day ones. We're getting stretched. Hey, what's up? It's me and Hoy, and I'm excited because this is the day we've all been waiting for since day one. And that's day 28 of this 28 day beginners 60 challenge. All right, so we've been pushing all the way through. Let's go ahead and take care of our body. And at the end of the workout, I'm gonna show you all um, pretty much some guidance for what to do next or the best ways to follow after going through this challenge. All right, so we're already in a seated position. We're gonna go ahead and kick this off with some seated deep breaths. So find a comfortable seat here. We're gonna go to a simple lotus and we're just gonna breathe. Inhale through the nose and exhale. I'm probably a little too excited to be going into like a meditative state. Inhale. Then good at your own pace. Breathe it out. Just relax. We've been hopping around, kicking butt for 28 days now. It's time to take care of our beautiful bodies. Great, from here, we're gonna go ahead and transition into some head rolls, starting off by rolling towards the left first, all the way over towards the right. So keep that seat. If you wanna stack it, opposite side, that's fine as well. But we're just gonna roll that head down, nice and gently until we warm it up. Then we're still gonna be gentle, but we can go a little deeper. There we go, down, full, roll all the way around. We tend to build a lot of tension in that neck and rarely ever relieve it. So this is excellent for your neck here. All the way through, down. Inhale up, exhale down and over. Bring it up, good. From here, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna reverse my stack. It might feel a little awkward, but it's always about balance. So we're gonna start going um, in the right direction, down and up and over. Good, so now we're a bit warmed up, but still you gotta switch it up. Good, nice extension all the way over and down, up, back and around. Still sing your breath. Just something to consider. All right, come out of that. I'm leaning back to come out of that safely. And we're gonna come onto our back. So we're coming out of our seated. We're gonna start with knee pulls. So back is flat. We're gonna bring in the left knee. Grab a hold of that bad boy and pull it in. All right, we're gonna gradually start pulling it in as time goes on. We're gonna go deeper and deeper. Both feet are flexed. Your right leg is extended all the way out. We're gonna inhale and exhale. Bring it in deeper. Oh, that feels great on my spine. Oh, I feel that in the back of my hamstrings, my thighs. Release slowly. From here, we're gonna go ahead and pull our knee in on the right. So our left leg is gonna be out, tight through the quads. Grab a hold of that right knee, pull it in. Same thing as we did on the other side. Flex the feet and breathe. Excellent stretch. 
down and towards your chest. As you pull, fingers are clasped, breathe. Come deeper. There we go. Release love. Just a few wiggles there in the wrist. Shaking your wrist out. We're gonna bring our palms down to the floor again and go into cat cow. Hands on your shoulders, knees on your hips. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Really taking care of our spine here. It will thank you in years to come by showing it some love now. Neutral spine. From here, we're going into a runner stretch with the left leg. I'm gonna have to switch the camera so you might see a bit of a jump cut. Let's go ahead and transition. So bring it up. Find a way to come into a runner stretch so your foot is to your side. I'm gonna have our right palm down. We're gonna inhale up with the, um, what is this? My left arm. <laughs> bring your hips down and let's guide it back down and bring it up and down great now bring your left palm to the floor uh, let's actually bring it on outside that foot and up stretching through your back and down hold it one more up down knees down great from here we go for a kneeling thigh stretch so we're gonna bring our right knee in left foot is out to the side get your hands into antenna mode so your left hand is going forward, your right hand is to the side, and you're kind of pushing yourself back and towards the left to really dig into those inner thighs. Good. I'm gonna get my toes in there a little bit, get a little bit of toe pose. Very healthy for your feet. Just tuck those toes underneath. Come down as well. All of this, you feel it. Your foot is uh, flat on the floor, on your left. Good, come forward, wiggle those hips, and we're gonna go into a twisting child's pose. So, feet are together, knees are apart, bring your hips back, hands are forward. And it's a twisting child's pose for a reason, so we're gonna twist left and right, bringing one armpit lower than the other as the other one rises and over. Oh, this feels so great on those shoulders, on your obliques, on your back, hips. Just turn into it. Feeling that heat going through your body. Ugh, it's like magic. One more over. And then we go ahead into runner stretch on the other side. Good. Bring it up. This time, right leg comes forward. So find your way into it. Great. Hips coming down. We're in a low lunge. Left hand is down. We're going to inhale up with the right hand. Just threading here and down. Tapping the floor. Up. Looking at that thumb. Bring it down. Now, right hand to the side. We're going to bring it up with the left. Balance, balance, balance. And down. Give me one more. Up. Stretching through that back as well. Down. Hold it here for a few seconds. Bring the hips lower. Knees down. Now we're going to bring the left knee in. Right foot to the side. We're going to have feet planted to the ground. I'm going to tuck my toes back here a little bit. At least a big toe. Great. So now we have our left hand to the side, right hand forward, and we're pushing back diagonally. All right. So back and towards your right. Hips are coming down. You're really pushing that foot out to the side on your right. 
Go deeper if you can't. Oh, I found it. All right, so I pushed my foot out to the side a little bit more and I found the magic I was looking for. Have to still tight here to keep it back flat. Good. Working wonders. And bring it forward. Great. Now we're going to go into child's pose. You can rock in this child's pose or just hold it. I'm just gonna go for a hold. So toes together, knees are wide, hips are back, hands are forward. And now I'm just focus on pushing my hips back more. Really reaching those arms forward and letting uh, my chest fall down towards the floor. You can drop your head here as well, if that works for you. Excellent stretch. With all that we've done, you gotta show your body some love. Great, come up out of here. Whew. From here, we're gonna go into a side stretch. So, a little transition. Now bring your butt right back into child's pose. Left hand towards the left, right hand follows. Hips and back to the right. Oh yeah, feeling great. Stretch it out, sink into that stretch. You might need to kind of wiggle around a little bit or shift and adjust until you find that compression. And then just sink into it, loosen it up. Getting deeper into that stretch. Hands to the center. I'm gonna hold child's pose temporarily here before we transition over towards the other side. Now we're gonna bring our right hand towards the right. Left hand follows, hips are back and towards the left. Oh my God, this feels good on this side. I could probably hold this for about two minutes, no joke. Did not know I was that tight here today. But it's great to discover it and address it right now. Sink into it. Breathe and go deep. Lower back is warming up as well. Great, from here we're going to a reverse shoulder stretch. So we're gonna start off by going over towards our left side. Bring your chest down towards the floor. Left arm is out, right palm is down. We're gonna inhale up, bring that right leg over. You can leave your knee up here or extend all the way down by kind of sweeping that foot down, bringing both toes up. Digging your shoulder down to your mat. Kind of stretch through your chest there and shoulder. Gradually pushing just a little bit of tension as you push off of that right hand. Twisting over towards your left. Roll out of that. Nice and safely. Take your time. And from here, same thing other side. I saw a great way to stretch through those biceps. Having that palm down on your mat. Inhale up. Good, like a dancer. Head down. Leave it there. Or bring both toes up. Both toes, both feet up. I don't know how many toes you have. But bring your feet up. And breathe. <sighs> Feels like the perfect pose to take a nap in. It was like a um, you know pillow commercial or something. Just laying by your side, like the pose you're in. Come on, that slowly. Great. From here, we're gonna go into a modified sun flow. So you can leave your hands where they are. We're gonna come up into a cobra, and then guide back to. A child's pose, inhale up, and back. Roll it forward, down like a chaturanga, and up, and back. Good. Also like an advanced child's pose, up, inhale, 
Roll it back. Getting a little bit of everything here. Up and through the back. Reverse. Shoulders, hips. Forward. Triceps down. And bring it up. Great. To the knees. From here, we're going to foot pedals. So we're going to hit downward dog. If it's too much to come to downward dog, elbows down. You can pedal here. All right. Otherwise, hands down, hips up, heels going back, and pedal those feet left and right. Breathe it out. It may take some getting used to. Come on. Push those hips up. Great, from here we're gonna transition to lizard. So find your way, I'm gonna go from three-legged dog over towards my right. Left knee is down. You're gonna open up your right knee um, like a, a book. Left palm is down. And I'm gonna push that knee open, looking over my shoulder. Hips are down on your left. Breathing it out, getting a great stretch here. Really feeling that in my inner thighs, my psoas, quads, spine. All right, transition back to the center. Let's heel toe that right leg to the center, bring our chest up. We're gonna take our butt and squeeze it in and forward. Placing your hands on top of your knees, getting all into your soul ass here. Excellent stretch for sedentary, all right? Especially if you're sitting a whole lot. Abs are locked in, push it forward, squeeze, come on. You wanna back out and bring it back in, that's fine. Pushing off of that knee, bringing the upper body back. Almost there. Great, from here, we're going to a kneeling ham stretch. So, start finding your way. Flex that foot on the right. Knee can be bent. And I'm just gonna do in and out breaths here. So we inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. As you inhale up, tuck your butt up and back, pushing your butt back more. Exhale and release. Great, now we're gonna bring it back over to lizard. Heel toe towards the right. Left palm is down. We're gonna peel that left leg off the ground. Reach back with the right hand. Grab the side of that left foot. Look over your shoulder. Adjust as needed. Lean forward, opening up the hips on the right while pushing the hips down on the left and looking up and over that shoulder here. This is the signature stretch, one of my absolute favorites. It can be a little crazy to get into. Some people like to keep that foot kneeling and reach back and grab it, sort of like so. Reaching back here and pulling it in. That may be easier for you. That may be more accessible, all right? Otherwise, twist into it. Find your way. Bring it up and over. Good, lizard on your left. So now, right palm is down. Left hand on top of your knee, pushing open, open it up here. I usually get a pop on this side, looking over the shoulder. So if that happens, perfectly normal. Hips are coming down on the right. Twisting, twisting, twisting. 
breathing from the diaphragm. I guess no pop for me today. All right, so come out of this. He'll toe your foot towards the center. We're gonna go for a psoas stretch on our left. Tuck that butt in, interlace those fingers. Chest is up, push it through. <sighs> Building that strength here. And your glutes a bit as you flex and stretch through those quads, your so ass. <sighs> Open up through your hip. Inner thighs are scissoring just a little bit here. Abs are locked in, pushing back the upper body with those fingers on top of that knee or your upper thigh rather than at your knee. And relax, good. Let's find a way to in and out breath on the hamstrings, balancing here. Ow! Oh, I'm tight today. All right, let's work on it. Inhale up. One foot ashy. Exhale down. Can't have ashy feet. I don't know how it happened. Inhale up. Probably all that sitting in the beginning. Exhale. Oh, this feels great. I'm tight, but it feels very rewarding. It's kind of like a good hurt, if that makes any sense. Like that soreness is being alleviated. Back, back, back. Exhale. Great, from here, we're going into um, lizard quad. All right, you can go into kneeling, like so, or open it up. We're gonna reach back with that left hand, grab the side of that right foot. Good, square everything out, lean forward, look back and breathe. Feels great. Opening up more and more as time goes on. Hips down. Open up with the other leg. And back. All right, from here, we're gonna go into a walking hamstring stretch. So, we're gonna hug our knees in at first. You can leave it here if you want. Go ahead and bring those feet up. And chest close. We're gonna start walking forward a little bit. Go out as far as you can. Ah, stretching through your back and your hamstrings. And breathe. Keep your chest up. That way you're not bringing your head down, feeling like you're getting further, but just having bad form. Breathe. Go deeper if you can. And relax. From here, we're going to a rack shoulder stretch. So we're gonna keep the same seated position. We're just gonna bring our arms back. And let me tell you, this is a great way to kind of counter there that exercise with your spine, but also the elbows feel so great as we twist. The shoulders feel excellent. Stretching through that bicep and shoulders. This is like the ultimate. I did pull-ups the day before, stretch, to really relieve yourself. Going left and right. Stretch through the neck a little bit. Give me one more on each side, over. Last one, up and over. Great, and, and down. Great, we're gonna go for a glute stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack our right heel on top of our left knee, reach through, clasp those fingers, pull that knee on the left end, push the knee on the right out and forward. Spine is still coming down and melting in there and Lord, this feels great.
relax out that nice and slowly. Great, we're gonna do the same thing on the side. So go ahead and stack your left heel on top of your right knee, adjust as needed. Reach through, grab, inhale back. Ooh, yes! Oh, that feels glorious on my left side. I don't know what I did to where this side is the tighter side today. Usually it's my right I have to worry about. I'm glad we are tapping into it today because I don't want to feel it tomorrow. And release. From here, we're going for a supine twist. So we're gonna have our knees up. Both knees are gonna go towards our left. We're gonna take our right hand, I'm sorry, our left hand on top of the right side of our right knee. Look over towards our right. And stretch. Palms down on the right side. Relax your ribs down on your left. Stretch and breathe. Relax, inhale both knees up, exhale, over towards the other side, take your right hand, place it on top of your left knee, look over towards your left, which is my tighter side today, which is strange, and breathe it out. Great. Now bring your knees right back up. We're going into happy baby. So we're open up through the legs. Hands reach in between. Add rocks here if you can. Pull those knees down first. Great. Good compression. And rock through that spine. The lower spine is down. That way we get a full massage through the entire spine here. Getting a great hip opener. As you pull those knees in. Ooh, feeling good today. Almost there. All right, bring those feet together. Bring them down to the ground. This is Shavasana, your favorite words ever. We're gonna give ourselves some me time as we relax. Um, if you have kids or a pet, this is usually where they like to come and crawl all over you. So, palms are up, or you can have your arms to the side. Pick your palm position. I like to tuck mine in, stretches out my elbow a little bit more. Let your feet fall to the side. I'm gonna come on my mat a little bit more. Spine come down. And we're just gonna relax through every single cell in our body, okay? From our breathing to just parts that we don't even know we're tensing up. I like to start with the eyebrows, so make sure your eyebrows aren't furrowed. So relax through your forehead. Good. Underhands your jaw, make sure you're not tight or clenched at the jaw. So Separate your teeth and let your jaw just fall. Breathe naturally from your diaphragm. Let your feet fall to the side, your knees or the eye of your knee fall down towards your mat. Your lower back melt and we're gonna hold it here for a total of about five minutes. Sounds long, but it's just enough time to give us to really let, let our body melt into the mat, All right? So just breathe it out. I'm gonna hush up. If you fall asleep, that's fine. Uh, one more thing, at the end of this exercise, we're going to kind of give some guidance on what to do next or the best way to follow through. All right, so um, check in for that. If you fall asleep, just rewind and check it out. And breathe.
final beat. Come out, come up and get your final fist bump and boom, wait. All right, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, share, and Sleep. I always fall asleep, so my energy is never the same at the end of the video. But let's.